Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. May you please tell me your name and your surname? Good afternoon. Uh, thank you so much. My name is uh, Sarah Mapepele and my surname is Mashilo. Are you currently working or studying? I'm studying. So what, what is your discipline? I'm studying PhD in microbiology. Nice. PhD in microbiology. You are about to finish school now. <laughs> yeah, this is my second year, so I'm left with... Uh, one year. One year. Then you are done with the PhD. Yes. Interesting. So what made, what motivated you to take up mathematics and STEM subjects uh, at school and at the university? Yes, because I, I wanted to pursue um, a career that needed uh, mathematics as a, as a prerequisite. So I wanted to do pharmacy, but I ended up not doing pharmacy and then studying microbiology and biochemistry as my undergraduate degree. Okay, thank you. Uh, and then how, how do you use mathematics in your, in your STEM subject or in your, in your PhD in microbiology in whatever that you're doing related to your, your studies? I use uh, mathematics uh, particularly when I have to, you know, mix up and create some reagents to do some of my, uh, to run some of my experiments. So some of the, the reagents, they need me to know calculations in order for me to be able to run that uh, um, protocol successfully. Okay, thank you. So growing up, uh, being a learner at high school, and when you come to university of Venda, uh, did you find any challenges that, that, that related to you studying mathematics and how did you overcome those challenges okay thank you for that yes i did find some challenges i was actually even good very excellent with mathematics from my very youngest age up to, until um grade 11. so in grade 10 i was also good with mathematics but then when i when it came to i think in my grade 10 i relaxed a bit i didn't practice mathematics anymore so for some of I was lacking some of the basics for in order to be in my grade 11 and grade 12 but I realized that when I was in my grade 12 that's why I passed my mathematics with very low marks mm. but okay. then mm. when I got to the university I I actually passed my mathematics in, in with distinctions because wow, that's interesting uh, that's, I, that's I now realize that mm. what I lacked it was the basics mm. and those was brought about me not practicing mathematics uh, in my grade 10. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, my last question is, why should young children pursue maths, science or technology, according to you? Why should they pursue those STEM subjects? I think it's very important because, I mean, like, when I look at life, like, every day I see numbers. I think of numbers because, I mean, like, right now as i'm speaking to you we we checking on time you yeah. know time it's all about numbers mm -hmm. so time, time is money <laughs> <laughs> yeah and time is money and money mm -hmm. you need cal to calculate if you need to know how much is the amount you need to calculate so it's mathematics mm -hmm. so i believe that it's very important for youngsters to actually pursue or to actually take the route of of stem because i mean like anything that we need we need to calculate i mean to take a decision you need to calculate that decision you need to make decisions based on calculations so i believe that and i mean like also with at home sometimes you're baking you're cooking you need measurements and measurements are all about um calculations they're all about mathematics so so sorry. would you encourage students to take stem subjects from high school and up until tertiary tertiary institutions Yes, I, I would really encourage them to do that because I mean like, I would say for instance, on my side, I, um, I realized that, or actually I've learned about some of the subjects when I got to the university. I didn't know about some of them, some of the stuff, um, the, the, the STEM subjects in my, my secondary levels. I didn't know anything about them. I just got to know about them when I got to my university level. And it's sometimes challenging to, to catch up with that. So okay, I believe that you. if you, we get to learn about them in our uh, primary level, secondary level, it will become much more easier. Mm. Okay, and lastly... people will not even make mistakes of choosing wrong careers. Exactly. Lastly, uh, what are your future plans when you finish your PhD? 
<laughs> when you become Dr. Lirato Mashilo. Wow. Um, for that one. In 30 uh, seconds. Um, yes, okay. So for that one, I, I really enjoy being a scientist. I would still really want to be um, an established scientist and, you know, travel the world, the world and also discover so many things and, you know, innovate, become innovative. So that's one thing. I still want to explore myself in science, in the science world and establish myself. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Lerato. It was nice talking to you. Thank you so much. I